There were many skeptics when India became free in 1947 and the Republic in 1950 who wondered whether India would hold together for long. Well, we've disproved all the doubters and completed 74 years since 1950, January 26th. For a 74 year old, a health checkup is in order. We've done well to come this far, but four vignettes from the Republic Day week are pointers to the discomfiture of the Republic of India at 74. One, a perennial jobs crisis. In 1950, unemployment was a major social issue in India. So it is 74 years later in 2024. One key difference, in 1950, the vast majority of Indians slogged on the farms, earning nearly nothing. Now, they have the opportunity to leave the country for better prospects. To Israel, for instance. Israel is hiring about 70,000 workers, mostly from China and India. And some 10,000 workers from Uttar Pradesh and Haryana are queuing up to go. Aren't they worried about the Gaza situation? Apparently not, when they don't see a bright future in India, earning 700 rupees a day for 15-20 days a month. A viral video in the Republic Day week showed some 3,000 engineers queuing up before an IT company in Hinjewadi, Pune for the job of a junior developer. Most surprising, almost all of them were holding hard copies of the resumes to submit to an IT company in Digital India. Many others are on donkey flights bound for Nicaragua, hoping to sneak into the US from there as illegal migrants. Two, distressed governor, absconding chief minister. When the Indian constitution became effective on January 26, 1950, it surely did not envisage the first citizen of a state sitting by a roadside and desperately telling his staff, call the home minister, call the prime minister. That's just what Kerala governor Arif Mohammad Khan was driven to after constant heckling and pestering by the Students' Federation of India. Call the Home Minister, call the Prime Minister. Every passerby in literate Kerala could gather what the fate of the common man is if this is the plight of the state governor. And in Jharkhand, Chief Minister Hemant Soren, believe it or not, went missing. India's constitution makers would never have imagined India's executive would plumb such depths. Three, Manipur radicals make MLAs and MPs take oath. A grumpy governor bewailing by the roadside about his own government is bad enough and an absconding chief minister is insulting citizens of his state. But even these fade in comparison to what happened in Manipur during the Republic Day week. Arambai Tengol, a radical Maite group in Manipur, made 37 MLAs and two MPs take an oath to protect the state. The average Indian has come to take riots, corruption, official high-handedness and judicial delays as normal. They don't even make news today. But what happened in Manipur is downright scary. A state being publicly subordinated to a militant group. For the religion tender pot. Two years before the Indian Republic came into being, religious sentiment took the life of Mahatma Gandhi. 74 years after the first Republic Day, Gandhi's assassin is seen as a hero by many and religion continues to be a tinder pot across the country. From Kashmir to Manipur to Mira Road in Mumbai to a Hanuman flag in Mandya, Karnataka to a green flag in Bangalore to a Sardar Patel statue being vandalized and set afire in Ujjain, in Madhya Pradesh, all happening during the Republic Day week, religion continues to be India's most inflammable internal risk. Pray long live the Republic. This edition of Geometric View salutes a 52-year-old banker from Tamil Nadu, U Puranam, alias IMR, for her generous land donation to the government school where she studied at Kodikulam near Madurai. The land is valued at over 70 million rupees. IMR, who works for the Canada Bank, made the land donation in memory of her late daughter, U Janani. The banker said, I believe education is the only tool to change the lives of people and transform society. A high school here will uplift the lives of the rural people here as the children will get better education. Such are the characters by whom a great republic is built.